chin to shoot. He goes up. And the win! Usman Jay! The French connection with the game winner in overtime. And the Blue have exercised the demons of the Vipers. Smart play by Waters, not pushing it and get shooting it too early. Flagler, no, Sar got the tip in with point three. Stand over. One of the Celtics players, look at the tip in, but watch the celebration at the end. Long rebounds. Oh, nice kick ahead. To Ramsey. To corral this when you see Sar get a hand on the basketball. But Shackelford on the bounce, extra pass, Williams beyond the arc, misses wildly, but there was Jang. Well, K.J. Williams catches it from three, lines it up just a bit to the right, however. Who's I'll tell you what, Gabe Levin's been awesome on the offensive glass, though. Oh, defensive breakdown allows Jang to get the easy miscommunication on the DHO. Jang. With just a miscommunication, that's not even a fake DHO. That is two defense. OKC down for the first time since late in the first quarter. Down by three. Deontay drives to the basket. Counted and one. So he'll go to the line to try to tie it with 52 seconds left. The hard way. Now it's time for him to hit this free throw. This is a big free throw that the Blue are going to need. Five and a half minutes left in the fourth quarter. Czar against Samuels, handoff Shackelford, back to Czar for the clock. Oklahoma City 7 of 8 from the line, meanwhile 8 of 11 from the stripe for the Vipers. Leading four indeed. championships, yeah. Keontae into Czar and he flushes that one down. Talk about something else impressive. Olivier Czar down around the basket, very impressive. Just the lead after one period this year. They are strong to the tune of 25 and 1. And Jamias Ramsey, who just returned from a trip on a two 10 day contract with Toronto. And Zar claims the slam. Maldonado counted and one. Uh, I think it's fair to say that Hunter Maldonado is on the mission today. Wow, that was why he was a second round draft pick. Rebound, I say challenge shot, I should say. Keontae Johnson brings it down to Flagler. He's feeling it from the corner. Bang! You, did you hear the crowd when Flagler got the ball? They're on their feet. Unbelievable. Flagler out front, drives in. He forces up a shot and it goes and one. The whistle, you get the contact as you're going up. You want to at least take that attempt at the rim, and he put that up there. It bounced on every part of the rim and decided to go in. Big rebound by Olivier Sar, but now the numbers could be in the Blues' favor if Flagler basket, and there you go. Flagler spins it in over the rim and got fouled. But it was to their advantage for him to attack the basket. And he went in and gave it all he had. Set this G League on fire this year with his athleticism. Such a game changer for Sioux Falls. Yeah, you can see Maldonado there. Boy, he really had to fight inside to create any type of... Oh, and you're really seeing the depth for this Sioux Falls team right now. Count that basket. Who to foul trouble. You can see the body contact there. He did a pretty good job of staying. We may do, struggle to get to 100 in this game for one team. Score for Maldonado, and he'll get a free throw when we come back with 6.24 remaining in the fourth quarter. We return on Valley Sports Song Tubi in the G League Network. Nearly midway through the quarter. Shackelford matched up against Jones. Shackelford to the rim and one. It's going to be blown. Do not allow the opponent to get that shot off. Jones trying to say that he didn't foul. And in comparison to keeping his arm on that left hand of shock. Jay inside to Williams deflected. A step back look at three is good. Oh, that was a tough shot by Johnson. Who's 
Usman Jang had a lot to do with it. Keontae Johnson with a big bucket at the end of the half. Because he's going to be the guy they lay off of, especially around the three-point arc. Johnson driving in, takes the contact, finish through Elmore and one. The Kings not happy about this call. However, I didn't think Elmore left the ground, but he actually did jump on that possession. And with the contact in the restricted area, match up against Long Island Nets, so a better start for him in the first half alone. And one. Maldonado getting downhill, going to the strong left hand, keeps his eyes basketball over. But it's important for the Blue to take advantage of each of those opportunities on the offensive end. Ramsey driving in after the fourth Celtics turnover. Waters straight away, and he bags the three. What a start for Lindy Waters. The turnover turns into the nice extra pass, and Lindy Waters knocking down the three at the top of the key. Bird. The comforts of home as Maldonado goes to the rim, takes the contact, and one. Smart play by Maldonado in the air, and then the presence of mind to feel the contact get a shot on the glass and gets the bucket. KJ Williams backing down Kata on the baseline. He's got 13, extending his playoff career high. To 16 and give KJ Williams a lot of credit for showing up here on his home floor. Getting into the painted area, Davidson averaging 12 assists per game in these two games of the G League Finals. Waters bumps and a chance at three. Waters on the other end. Beating Davidson into the painted area and able to get the contact. Waters trapped out of his hands. Johnson on the baseline. Second side on the reverse and one. Blues direction, just like this possession. Keontae with the floater, misses it, but gets the offensive rebound and able to finish. Now it's Walsh into the paint. Stolen away by Jang. Good positioning there on Kelly. And now Waters leads the break. Up top, it's Saar to throw it down. As the visitors in the white, Oklahoma City earns the first possession. A roll to the basket, and Olivier Saar puts it in. Can Oklahoma City counter the physicality of Stockton? Oof. Saar had the right position to get the rebound, and Johnson, aggressive to the rack. Logan Johnson, Noah Starkey, a three, no. It is Johnson on the cut. 